for what purpose were we created? And for the one who is an atheist, who doesn't believe in God at all, then they're going to say there's no purpose. But Allah makes it clear. He said, I didn't create you guys for anything less than this. And that's to worship me. To worship Allah. Without any partners. Now, some people, they came back and they said, Oh, why did God need somebody to worship him? I don't know if you know the Arabic, but if you read it in Arabic, he didn't say he needs it. In fact, he doesn't need it. We need it. He's telling us what we need to do in order to achieve our purpose. I'd like to introduce to you to a ballpoint pen. Now you might think this is not relative, but think about it. There's a ballpoint pen. It's got advertising on it, so you know it's a freebie, okay? Now, I like the pen. It's kind of cute looking. It goes with my outfit, so I'm going to keep it, all right? And it writes. And as long as it writes, and it writes nicely, it's my pen. I like it. Somebody wants to borrow my pen, I will loan them the pen, but I'm going to stand right there and wait for them to get through using it and get my pen back, right? That's what we all do that. Even if it's a cheap bic, we're going to still get our pen back, right? You with me? Yes. But the minute this pen doesn't write anymore, what will I do with it? Throw it away. It doesn't have any value to me. I don't need it. Now, Allah, God Almighty, didn't need us to start with. So how about if we don't fulfill our purpose? Boo. Yeah. I'm trying to put it in perspective for you, that's all. I need and I'm needy. Allah is not needy. He doesn't need anything. When he tells us something, he's telling us for our own good. He's not telling us something that's going to benefit him, but rather that benefits us. So let's keep that in mind while we're listening to some of the things that we've learned from our creator, from Allah.